Hi everybody, it's Feb. I'm at the top of the world. Almost. Look at the views from up here. I'll show you where we are on the map. It's called Clear Sky Hideout. We're right at the top here. I travelled here from Winterhold via the Sightless Pit, Mount Anthor, and then up here. And I don't even know what to say about this place. It's quite the most remarkable home. It's small, but boy, it's got a hell of a lot going on. So in addition to the mod description, I'll also leave a link to the walkthrough description as to um, how to get the home opened. Just that little screen there will tell you <laughs> there is so much that you can interact with in this home. I've never seen anything like it. It's amazing. <laughs> And if you feel like it, you can play the flute whilst you're up here. <laughs> There's all sorts of bits and pieces in that eagle nest. You can relax on the bed rolls, light a fire, have a drink and something to eat. If you've got dwarven oil and a torch, 12 hours that fire will last for. When I got here, it was absolutely just, oh my God, it was so snowy, I couldn't see a damn thing. Uh, and it took me quite a while to find my way around to get the house and all the rest of it. It isn't that difficult, to be honest. I was just being a phoebe. It's an escape knapsack here with all sorts of things in it. And there's your home. There's a ladder up the side here, which is how I got up there. I don't even know how to get onto that platform. There's got to be a way. There's exciting things over there that I probably need. So you've got a full set of smithing equipment here and name storage aplenty in this home. There are also ores literally everywhere and I think they're inexhaustible. This is the house. It doesn't look much from the outside but don't be deceived. Uh, when you do find it, okay to start the thing off, um, whether you own Breeze Home or not, on as soon as you download the mod on the door at Breeze Home will appear a little note uh, wrapped round an arrow. It leads you to this home and once you get here, inside the jar is another little note. The only enemies I found up here were a couple of um, ice wraiths. And that note directs you down to the stable building, which is here. And if you search amongst the hay bales, In the uh, haystack, you'll find the key to the home. Whilst we're down here, we might as well, I might as well show you this. You can move these hay bales, but not until you've read the book in the house. And there's a cave behind. I've taken all the seed, la uh, seed sacks. Gardener's lab. <laughs> You can make up flower seed sacks, uh, mushrooms and vegetables and I'll show you about those in a minute. But you can also use the workbench to craft artifacts that are particular to this home, including diving gear, <laughs> which is just awesome, uh, mysterious tool, respirator mask, etc. I'll, I'll come back to that. There's a, there's a lot involved with this home. Or you can craft or temper your armours. So, you know, that's just awesome. Just in the normal way. That's all I've got on me at the moment. There's also wine in the barrel. Fish reserves. Food, uh, firewood storage. And you can have that linked. Because you'll need it in the home. And there's a water fountain. 
And when do you look at it? <laughs> That's amazing. Just got myself a bottle of water. Oh, I haven't got any torches. Okay, um, you can place torches in the sconces around here. So when it's really snowy out, it gives you some nice light. See, I've got one left there. You can also light that brazier. You can't use these yet, but you can unfold the bedrolls. Oh, my hay's a bit flickery. You can't use the saddles yet. It may be that, you know, the time has gone. Um, I don't know when this mod was last updated, uh, so that may not may not yet happen. It's so fabulous up here. Miles away from anything and anybody. And the house has got an amazing story about the previous owners. In fact, not just them, but two sets of previous owners. And uh, uh, they're well worth a read. So once you've got the key from the haystack, you can get into the home. The home has got so many features, I just don't even know where to begin. I, honestly, I don't. And I won't cover anything like, probably not even a quarter of them. There's a lot to discover. On here, you'll find a bottomless bag, which you can <laughs> equip and keep and use yourself, which is just terrific. There's a spare key there. Um, you can interact with this cloak. So you see, I'm wearing it now. <laughs> It looks a little bit messy with my glass armour, but that is just awesome. All of the lights in here are toggleable. There are animations for all sorts of things. Um, build a fire. Don't know if I've got... Oh yeah, I have. And she, he did it. <laughs> so that's your cooking pot in the normal way. There's a candle up there on the mantel shelf that you can turn on. Over here, shower and a heater. There's an oil lamp in the corner you can turn on. And Apparently your um, your followers will make potions here and then you can try them out. The last time I tried one, try one of your companion's creations. Let's try number two. You just never know. <laughs> you just never know what effect they're going to have, but it's enormous fun. I love that. That just makes me laugh. Uh, so, that as an enchantment font as well, normal enchanter. Uh, that I can't even tell you. Sit in the tub. It's just crazy the amount of things that you can do in this home. Literally hundreds of things. And this table. So at the moment, uh, I've, you can see I've got it set for a work table, but you can change that. Uh, and I had it set for food initially. That was the default when I came in. But when I changed it to a work table, I found a rusty key on there. And uh, that comes into play a bit later on. There are letters and documents all over the place and books. You can translate dwarven uh, writings and it's truly like nothing I've ever seen before the bed has an animation um, I think that's dependent upon another mod though um, because otherwise if I just click on that and say you know I want to sleep for an hour then I just get black screen and nothing else. But there is another mod that goes with this, uh, which you'll see on the mod description page. So you can see yourself getting in and out of bed and folding the sheets back. And it's just awesome. You can pray tomorrow. 
There he is, doing his praying. You've been blessed, child. Go get him, which is just terrific. Also, you can change the bedding. And the bookshelf works in the normal way. Uh, read the journals, do. There's a music box that you can turn on and get custom music. Oh, I can't turn it off again now. <laughs> there we go. Um, and you can change the map on the wall. There's five different types of map. Ah, okay, so hideout guidebook. Really, I'd say quite essential, just so that you don't miss all the little things in here. Exit animation, but ah, right, okay. All right, so a lot of the things will put you into an animation, um, and to get out of that animation, you have to click again on the thing you clicked on. So it's not just a jump or a walk forward, you actually have to click on the thing that you clicked on. Or you can use this power. Um, I decided not to because, you know, I've been enjoying um, all the animations, to be honest. There I am, doing my reading. And you can pick your own book or the two journals or the guide. And you can lean on surfaces, you can do some brain work, <laughs> get some work done, use the comfy chair, adjust literally hundreds of things. On the work table, um, I can clear the table. There we go. And I can set it for dinner. Then I can light the candle. There I am, lighting my candle. <laughs> Serve hot soup. <laughs> Check me out. Remove the soup pot, oops. <laughs> And now I'm dunking it on the table. And you can just have a blank table if you want it. So there are options. You can also pick your own menu. If you sit down, um, you can choose what you want to eat. You can choose what you want to drink. It's just wow. And if I lingered on every single thing that this house does, we'd literally be here all day. I was in here last night for about three hours and I still don't know everything. <laughs> you can set the house rules on this board. Uh, so, uh, you know, do you want auto storage for any of these things? I did for firewood. Book reading options, stop offering me books to read. Please dress up after I shower. I won't dress up after shower. There's loads of options and actually um, you do strip off when you get in the bath if you've got it set for that and it puts you into a pair of pants which is something else look at those things they are something <laughs> very nice so although that isn't everything in here it's you know a good idea you can have a drink in the bath you can read in the bath you get a bonus from having a a bath, you know, all of those type of things. So also out here, uh, you'll find bits and pieces in the chests. You can light the braziers with firewood. And then somewhere around here, there was there, oh, there it is. Down here you'll find a grave and when you get here this grave is overgrown with flowers and you've got various options as to what you do with it. Oh I've got a plant, uh, a crop growing already um, but one of the things that you can do 
one of the things you're going to need, I hate to tell you this, but it's on a body in that grave. <laughs> so uh, the rusty key that you found on the table will open up the coffin that's in there. And you can use this as your garden for veggies or um, flowers or um, mushrooms. And you can pay your respects. Oh, check me out. You'll need to get a shovel um, when it comes to digging and you can get the shovel from the, um, what's it called? <laughs> Stable. Oh my God. Look at the bag. The bag looks nice. Nice little satchel. And you'll be able to use this little toolbox here too. And you can play the lute. <laughs> also puts you into an animation. Seriously awesome. The stories that go with this home are really fantastic. I can't believe how much work the mod authors put into it because although it's a small home, there is just so much that you can do. It just continues to amaze me. So the lab or the cave area down here. Oh, <laughs> they've moved themselves aside. On the mantelpiece in the house is a little dwarven cube. You pick that up. Check that out. It's amazing. You'll come in here. There'll be a small little rock fall and it closes behind you. You can get back out that way. Just put the cube in there. It obviously knew I was coming. And then you come in here and I've still got the settings that I left it at last night when I left. So this room, oh my God. Right, you can sit on the steps, you can play music, which is just brilliant, the music tron. There's a little, look at that little figure in there. <laughs> and this, oh my God. So it's empty diving gear at the moment. Look at me. <laughs> Look at Hannibal Lecter from the front. It's amazing. And you can fill those tanks here. Oh, it's on me at the moment. Uh, and there's full description how to do this. So, you know, you can read up on that. A little stone bed you can turn the lights on and off with that button you can light a brazier in here as long as you've got dwarven oil oh, which apparently I don't have but there is some in here and then I guess you you need to start it with uh, a spell if you haven't got a torch And there are notes all about the place, uh, old drawings, notes about notes. <laughs> Take a closer look at these notes and you'll be able to see there's a whole bunch of, um, here we go, uh, Dwemeri runic alphabet. Uh, if you collect them all and then you will be able to translate them, uh, and then you can build, I think it's the flying machine, because <laughs> look, I haven't tried it yet. But there's the right wing right there. And look at that. Oh my God. So fascinating, this place. Yeah, and there's uh, linen. Yeah, you be able to make that. Uh, this place to me, I'm, as I say, I'm still learning what it can do. But this is like a whole game all by itself. You know what I mean? Not, it's not just a house mod. He's a bit, 
<laughs> um, you can turn the lights on and off all the way through here. You can even finish this picture uh, that's been started by one of the previous occupiers. Complete the painting on the wall with a palette knife. And it goes into the animation as if you were tanning. And you have to do each area twice before your work actually shows, but it does then show up on this painting, which to me is just, it just tickles me pink. So I've only done it once so far, so nothing has changed, but that's, that's what happens apparently. What a difference it makes. So you've got this beautiful little art area. And the story about the people that lived here is really, truly just lovely. It'll take you quite a while, a, a while to read because there's, uh, you know, it's, it's no small thing. Grind your pigments. <laughs> Oh, so this place, what? I don't even know. So stunning. Completely different than anything I've ever seen before. And if you just, you know, really want to feel like you're actually living a life in Skyrim, then I, I can't think of another home where you can do as much as you can in this one. It's incredible. Oh, yeah, diving helmet as well. <laughs> I have to show you that. That it doesn't have an animation on my head, unfortunately. I don't know why, maybe because I'm Khajiit. But how cool is that light? That is so bright. Oh, the noise is in here. All right then. Okay, well, I think that's just a, te a teaser really as to this particular house and what it can do and how amazing it is. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you soon for another.